Hey there little sharks, it is the inflatable sea lion here and today you are looking at my most recent fish purchase. Now a lot of you may be extremely surprised, especially the little sharks that date back to the forest time ago, because in fact I did purchase a veil tail, which is really different. It's uncommon for me to do because every single male that I have ever purchased has been a half moon, so this is pretty different. Now first I'm going to talk about how and where I got this guy and then I'm going to transition to what's happening now and his like health conditions and everything like that. We're going to cover everything in this video. So I was traveling and I actually got this guy at pet value. I cringe a little bit when I say that because pet value, at least the ones in my area, really don't take good care of any of their fish and they don't carry any tanks over the size of a gallon. So that really hurts my heart a little bit. So, you know, like I said earlier, I was traveling. So this one was not in my local area and it actually did take okay care of them. So this guy looks extremely healthy. He is extremely healthy. Uh, the only problem is his fin rot, as you can see, um, it's extremely noticeable, the curling of the ends of the fins, but it's already starting to recover even on the second day that I've owned this little guy. So back to pet value, he was only $4.30 and I've had this recent obsession with veil tails, so I sort of needed one in my life. I picked up this beauty with no hesitation because he is stunning and I'm so glad I got him because he has such a unique coloration. I know I've never came across an orange betta before but they do exist everywhere I guess but I just haven't seen one and I automatically fell in love with this guy. I have decided on the name Cadmus just because it reminds me of the sun. I think the literal translation is Prince or something like that. I do love Greek names. They are my thing. So Cadmus, the founder of Thebes. Now I named him Cadmus mostly because like I said, it reminds me of the sun, but I named him that because it's weird. You know the stone in the tank that he's currently in? It has a serpent on it, like a snake, whatever. That's pretty weird because I've, I'm pretty sure, don't take me 100% on this, but I do think that Cadmus was turned into a serpent later and I was like, hmm, that's odd. So that is his name. He has so much fin rot. It's recovering already and you cannot see it in this lighting. Um, I'll insert a clip of him in the tank but those spots on him, like the spots, and he has like stripes on his fins that are like an iridescent blue color. I know you can't see it right now, but he looks even more pretty in the tank. It sort of takes out some of his brilliant orange color, but it really does highlight the blue streaks and this and that. So this guy's awesome. Thanks for watching. If you're not part of the shark pool already, make sure join us by clicking subscribe smash that like button and see you little sharks